Okay, welcome back on the free to play account. I've had to record this video a few different times because my audio keeps messing up and I'm not really sure why on my microphone. I don't know if it's too close or too far, but I don't want to put out a video that sounds like garbaggio. So I did pull some shards and you guys are going to see I didn't pull anything good, but let's just go into the fragment champion. And actually before we go too crazy into it, we don't act for subscribers around here. We play them in rock, paper, scissors. Are you ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, we threw scissors. If I beat you, subscribe. So I'm gonna go into this high mod. I'll put out another video on what I think of this champion. But for now, we're gonna exchange these. And as you see, we have three chests. We're gonna open all three chests and... This is huge. This is huge. We got a feast. Oh, this is huge. We can instantly take a champion to rank six. And we have four, oh, this is crazy. Four fragments and a feast. That's insane. We can literally take a champion to six star right now. And we've already been grinding six stars or grinding up. As you see, we have all of these 40s. We have another one about to be 40. We have a bunch of four stars here. We got our level threes coming in. These are the champions I pulled. Skirmisher, Renouncer, and Judge. Wow, I can't believe we just pulled a feast. That's insane. And then we're just going to grind up. So what are the next two six stars we should do? Do we put up Apothecary? Do we Mordecai? I'm not, I don't think so. Do we bring up Tyrell? Do we bring up Runic? Do we six star Rathalos? We have a free six star right now. Our luck is insane. So outside of that, before I start rambling, let me try and have a little structure to this video. And I just want to tell you what I've been doing. I've been doing my dailies every day. We'll have another Ancient Shard in about three days after this, after I finish this one, three more days. For the missions, I've been grinding these pretty well. As you see, once I get to Arbiter, I'm going to give this account away, right? This account is going to be given to one of you supporters, one of you guys on the YouTube video that have been supporting me. I'm going to give this, once we get Arbiter, I'm going to give you guys this account. Or give one of you guys this account. Right now, we're just waiting for this Void Keep to open, which opens on Sunday, I believe. And then the rest of this, we can do Spider-7. We can do 5 million damage with one key on normal easily. And we could do it with two keys. We can almost do 5 million on one key on hard as well. Again, 6 star, we, or 6 ascension, we got that. We can do stage 7. We'll have This is not hard. I mean, we're kicking ass and taking names. Pardon my language, I'm sorry. Outside of that, I want to talk about faction wars. This is something I need to focus more on. We can actually do some of this, and I'll, I'll do this a little bit off screen, but as you see, we have champions to do this. But look at these glyphs you can get. You can get plus one to eight speed, depending on the level, I'm sure. As you see, the higher you go up, the higher the glyphs are, four to six. But even getting one or two extra speed on, a, on an on an item could be a big difference. Getting an extra attack percent, getting extra crit damage or crit rate, you don't get either of those. But getting the attack percent and the speed or the defense percent, HP percent, could also be really huge. The accuracy could be really, really big to hit those thresholds you need. So make sure you're grinding this out. You also get a nice legendary champion at the end, but even these free rewards and just knocking this out daily. I believe on Gavin, I was watching his video today, he has a surplus of them because he grinds out Faction Wars every day. And the best thing about it, it does not cost energy. You get these keys, 12 keys, and if you fail, it doesn't use that key. You can just try again. You can do it on auto. You can do it on manual just to be able to get through and get some of this free stuff. And the, another thing that's really good if you're grinding that up, eventually you'll be able to continually come down here, get some more perception gear. And as you see, I'm just missing this. So if a couple of these drop, 10 of these drop, I can now re-roll and possibly get a really, really good piece of gear that could change a champion or change the account a little bit. So make sure you're focusing on those as well. When it comes to Arena, we are in between Silver 4 and Gold 1. I am going to try and push and grind up to Gold 1 only because, one, the, inc or the buffs are really good, but I really want this Void Stone. And the difference between this and Silver, as you see, there's no Void Stone here. That's literally one of the only differences. There's probably a little bit of gear that you can get, but I want this Void Stone. 
want this void stone. I want some of this gear. And this could help. Getting void stones from this could be huge, right? A void stone could pull an insane champion and things like that. I do not focus much on this. I literally come in here. Oh, I will be grinding all of this because as you see, we have a bunch of free wins here. And that's it. I just take the free wins, take the gold bars, buy Drekstar shards, and move on with my life. When it comes to clan boss, as you see, one key, we're doing about 7.4 million on normal. And if we get something other than void that's better for us, then we do more. This is a little iffy. This is at 4 mil. Sometimes I get 5 mil. Sometimes a little more, but it really just depends on the War Master or the War Master procs, the Giant Slayer procs between my. Once I get a new six star, I believe I'll be able to two key hard. Right now we're doing three key, but getting an extra six star will maybe possibly move us over to Brutal a little bit. Maybe not a lot. Maybe we'll barely get one chest, but again, to get these shards, definitely worth it. So let me know down below, who should I six star next? Now that we have the feast, that's like, that's a game changer. Because right now we could literally just be like, Rothlo six star, boom. That's crazy. That is so crazy to me. So that's what we need to work on. Or do we just save that and grind up six star the old fashioned way? Or do we get two six stars? Let me know down below what I should be doing. Also, when it comes to skills... I'm not, I have one epic book and I believe I've already maxed him out. Yes, I don't, do I book this guy for his shields and his taunt and the counterattack? Because this only gives counterattack to himself. If this gave counterattack to everyone, this would be crazy for clan boss, right? But outside of that, we can remove a debuff from all allies. And then we get the shield on all, ally, all, all allies for two turns, 15% of max HP, increase the duration of all buffs on all allies by one. So this could be really good to keep buffs up, but it's not going to keep buffs up forever. As you see, it's only going to be on a four turn cooldown, and that's pretty much it. But what I'm, where do I go from here? And a lot of people I feel like are probably in this kind of area where you're passing the, the the beginning of the game early game and you're kind of transitioning to mid game and you're feeling stuck you don't have a lot of silver to roll up your gear you don't have a lot of energy and you're like where do i go do i just grind up six stars do i go to dungeons like what should i be doing where do i go i don't know but i will say the reason they make it hard is so that you click this shop button right here you go down to these limited offers and you're like, give me all this. Look at all this energy for free right here. Like, give me all this energy or give me all these shards. Look at all these shards. That, I mean, this is a free to play account and just look how many offers I have just nonstop. Give me all this, you know, and I think they do a really good job. Like, oh, I just want a bunch of, of ancients. Oh, and I want a Lego book or a five star chicken. Oh, I can get some coin. Oh, it's only $12. I can get a whole savage set. And, a, you know, 1.5 mil, some legendary ore. Oh, it's only, you know, 18 euro. It's only 12 euro. Don't, don't give in. If you want to be free to play, you can make it. You can grind through. As you see, we've been down here for three weeks, 21 days. We're already on clan boss hard. Working our way to two key it and possibly be, start moving on to brutal. And I have done nothing. No money, no nothing, just grinding. Now, I did get a little lucky with Leo, but if you look at Burrito Slayer and Gavin's account, they have not been pulling that. They did not pull Leo or anything crazy, and they are just as good as I am, doing just as much. So stay true to the free-to-play. Grind up the free-to-play life. It is a huge flex, and this is all you do. I mean, it's not the most entertaining right away, but seeing the progression is nice. I just put Leo number one. And here we go. I grind up my my last four star that I need. I got a bunch of two stars. I need to get up to three stars to get these guys to four stars and blah, blah, blah. You guys know the gist. And that's pretty much I do with most of my energy. I do take a little bit of time sometimes to go into dungeons. When these are open, I try and get some, dun some dungeon keeps done. I try and grind minnow a little bit for masteries because masteries are important. I'll go into dragon here and there. But for the most part, I think the next thing I really need to do on this account is a gear cleanse. Because look at all the... I mean, I have so much gear. Look at all this gear. Look at all this gear. So much gear. 
And I actually, I'm going to show you guys how I will be doing my gear cleanse. So I'm not like the best at it, but I know for a fact, I don't want anything that is one to two or three stars, right? So we're just going to select all. We're going to sell that. The next thing I'm going to do is click these common, uncommon, and rares. But before I quick sell all of this, I like to actually look at some of the gear. Just because I'm a newer account, this has speed on it. I want to keep this. This can go, I mean, look at, I mean, some of these could be good. No, that's not good. I, I mean, I have attack percent with double crit damage here. Something I'm going to want to keep for now. This can go, and I, I just kind of like to scroll through, make sure there's nothing crazy. I mean, this could be good, right? Look at attack percent with crit rate and crit damage. A double roll on either one of those could be great. And what I think you should do is if you, if you do this and you see there's gear that you like, like, oh, this is good, attack percent and crit damage. Or, you know, look at this, attack percent, double defense, not the best, but attack percent, this one can go. Double flat rolls, that can go. But looking at what you have, flat boots can go. And seeing what do I like? Do I want to keep this for defense and resistance? Seems kind of good, seems kind of bad. Make sure you're going through and not just clicking sell all and then you have no gear left. And now you're in this spot where you have no gear for your champions. Make sure, I mean, if I quick sold everything, look, this would be gone. Accuracy chest, super good for a champion that needs to play stuff. I mean, we have crit rate gloves with crit damage here. We have speed boots here. Uh, crit rate, crit damage here. So when you're going through this, make sure you're clicking what you want to save. Or maybe you see something that, like, this isn't that great, but maybe you see something that's crit rate and it has speed and crit damage. Or something along those lines that you want to re-roll and possibly keep. Just make sure you know what you're selling before you sell it. All right? But that's all I got for you guys. I'm not going to keep you here forever. But as always, guys, until next time, Senpai out.